Hi dudes, what's going on? The Equinox was just released, so I thought let's make a beginner's guide about it. Anyways, let's get into it. Now, how do we enter the Equinox? At the Blood Bones map, just past the Dedidade Rams map, the mobs will drop a 1 in 1000 chance known as the Equinox Mirror, which is a teleporter to take you to the Equinox. Once you arrive, there's nothing there except for an NPC. Interact with the NPC and it will open up your Equinox UI. You'll see a couple things. You'll see a bar that says full and you'll have one upgrade that's known as the Equinox Dream. You use that bar when it's full to give yourself one upgrade. Every time you upgrade, it increases the amount that you need in order to get the next upgrade. So go ahead and use the first upgrade to unlock the thing known as Equinox Dream, which will start your dream bubbles to give you challenges. Each challenge will give specific bonuses. For instance, Dream 1 will require you to get green stack in 20 different items, and the reward that will give you is the next Equinox upgrade. The next upgrade is known as Equinox Resources. This is where you're going to put your first four upgrades. You want to get all of these as soon as possible because they all unlock new vials. There's one for mining, one for chopping, one for fishing, and one for catching. The vials go as follow. For the mining is known as Marble Mocha, which gives you faster Equinox bill fill rate. This is a necessity, and you want to get this as high as possible as soon as possible. The next one is known as Willow Sippy, which gives you a percent faster sigil charge rate. Shiny Fin Stew, which is arguably an insane vial, which gives you insane amounts of percent build rate. And the last vial is known as Dreamy Drink, and it'll give you Shrine Charge Rate. So all these vials are actually super, super good, especially for shortening time gates. Now be aware, you cannot AFK this map. You can only activate. The max amount of time that you get for AFK from the Equinox is two minutes. So if you stay there for an hour, it will only count as two minutes. So ideally what you want to do is either active farm it, do two minute claims, or you could take 3D prints from each one of these materials. And if you're looking to see what your Equinox fill rate per hour is, if you click on no buffs and just look at the Equinox, it will tell you on the right hand side. Now I'm not going to go over all the dream challenges. I am just going to tell you the upgrades and what they do. The challenges are up to you. The third upgrade is known as Shades of K, which adds another choice to Kilroy run that you've invested to and you can upgrade up to three times. First upgrade is faster respawns for Kilroy. The second one is increased dungeon drops. And the third one is a chance at white pearls which is for xp the fourth one which is a incredibly good one is known as liquid investment a percentage of your, your overflow for your liquids will actually just start going into your upgrades for your cap and your rate upgrades and you can get this up to level 11 so that means you can get 99 percent of your overflow so that means lazy boobo is officially achieved you want this upgrade the next one is an absolute juicer it's known as matching skimps which gives you total damage percent, but at a multiplicative level. So this is the same mechanic as Eclipse Skulls, except this even multiplies on top of Eclipse Skulls. So this thing is absolutely juiced. The next one is Slow Roast Wiz. Slow Roast Wiz will give you a percent damage for your wizard towers in tower defense, and it will keep on creasing every second until you defeat that wave, but it doesn't start for another 10 seconds. This helps for when you're stuck in tower defense for like four and a half years because you don't have enough damage, this will change that, so that means we're going to start seeing 170 to 180 max waves probably pretty easily. The next one, which is actually kind of the lamest one to be honest, is known as Laboratory Fuse, which just gives you more pixel connection range, but I mean, cool, I guess. And for all those small nugget enjoyers out there, we get the next upgrade known as the Metal Detector. You get a percent increase to nugget size for every failed nugget you get that isn't your personal best. So now we won't have to wait seven months to try to get a new nugget because this is going to fix that problem. Thank you. Oh, God, thank you. And the last one that I've managed to upgrade, I think I only got up to like 21 dreams. Uh, they start getting very, very hard. Box jewels, which gives you percent drop rate. So you can get up to like, so far, I think I can get up to like 55% drop rate after I get the new upgrade. So I mean, it's pretty cool. What I would suggest for upgrades, and if you're feeling like you could tackle most of the challenges, is only put one point in Dream Cloud. If you really need it, you could put two points in Dream Cloud. All your first four points into Equinox resources, try to get those vials ASAP. And after that, you're gonna probably look in towards Liquid Vestment if, if you're a strong boobo enjoyer. Now, now that we've gone over the upgrades here, there's a couple of dreams that I want to help you guys with because they're not the easiest. Dream Cloud Challenge that requires you to get a Lucky Lad specifically on a beginner class. 
What I did was I ran a ton of drop rate and I went to Dreadlio Ore and I spammed a bunch of candy for it to drop. It only took me about 40 hours if you're lucky enough, but that seems to be the fastest way if you're trying to spam out these challenges. Other than that, I don't know, AFK it, I guess. There's also a very daunting dream challenge that requires you to get to wave 130 in arena with only four pets. Now I know what you're thinking. How is this possible? This seems ridiculous. You're right, it is ridiculous, but we found a really good strat for it. If you run the team Burger, Refiller, Peapod, and Looter, this is a super easy breeze. The other strats required you to get like a minimum 100k pet power. We were able to do this with 50k pet power, and that will be a easy, smooth 130. You're welcome. There you go. Just put it on auto, and the way you go. And my final tip to give you is buy Bob Joe Pickles every single day. Yup, you heard right. It requires you to have vile level two Bob Joe Pickles where you can only buy one a day and it requires a hundred of them. So you're looking at a hundred day wait period. This is the one I'm locked on. I have 18. There you go, my dudes. Quick Equinox beginner guide. Good luck. Happy travels. I hope your challenges are great. I hope you easy peasy. This is more for like, I would say later game, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. But anyways, my dudes, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had fun. But stay tuned for the next Iowan video. Stay safe. Happy grinding. And peace out.